Good morning. Medical tourism is booming in China and major cities here are already serving as hubs for patients from Asian countries who come here to seek medical treatment. Analysts believe that China's medical tourism industry will be the fastest growing in the world, compounding at 16% per year for the next decade, and in the next few years will be five times bigger than now. Some of the reasons are here in this report. The prices are lower here, the most modern technology is here. China is now heavily promoting the industry here. China is also where most of the active pharmaceutical ingredients for drugs are made at almost near zero cost. Shenzhen is right next to Hong Kong and hospitals there are quickly expanding to serve foreign patients. 770,000 medical tourists went to Shenzhen for treatment in 2023. Shanghai is also popular with another 270,000 foreign patients treated. Shenzhen and Shanghai together attracted over a million foreign medical tourists in 2023 then. And while Shanghai and Shenzhen are top destinations now, China plans for Hainan to be much bigger than anything that will happen in mainland China and let alone anywhere else. Here we see where the patients inbound Shanghai are coming from. Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, and the Philippines. So right off, this is a little bit strange. Singapore is completely modern in every respect, and Singapore's medical system may be the best in the entire world. Yet Shanghai is drawing thousands of medical tourists from Singapore. Malaysia, Indonesia, and the Philippines also have world-class hospitals in their major cities. So something else is clearly going on. We'll look at what's happening here in the research for just one disease, Parkinson's disease. And as we go through, imagine that you or a loved one suffers from Parkinson's. Then keep in mind that Hainan Island is gonna be one giant pilot zone for experimental medical treatments open to all the world's drug companies and medical device manufacturers. What I mean here is that medical tourists going to Hainan will have access to drugs and treatments that are still years away from being approved in the United States or in Europe, and probably even here in mainland China. This report is from Novatech. They're a contract research organization for biotech companies, and they're very active in the Asia Pacific region. They coordinate drug trials and medical testing for drug companies across the world, but most of the research is being done here in Asia, along with most of the patient trials. In their report on Parkinson's, they note that China has the largest population of Parkinson's sufferers. In the past five years, biotech companies have conducted 750 clinical trials for Parkinson's disease, and most of those are done here in China. There are three primary strategies to treat Parkinson's, gene therapies, deep brain stimulation, and stem cell research. For the sake of time, we'll look at recent developments in just the last two. Researchers learned last month that nanoparticles injected into the brain can reverse the worst symptoms of Parkinson's without surgery. There are a million Americans with Parkinson's and the number is rising. Worldwide, there are 10 million people with Parkinson's and this piece here goes a little bit deeper into the medical science of how this nanoparticle technique works using a combination of gold nanoparticles, antibodies, and peptides. I didn't understand much else of that. And here's a link to the original scientific abstract, and I didn't understand a single word of this thing besides the National Library of Medicine banner at the top. But they're not testing this on human patients yet. Human trials may be months away. Approvals from the FDA in the U.S. and regulators in Europe would necessarily be years after that. And Americans can read above these therapies for ourselves and conclude that this treatment involving nanoparticles injections directly into the brain is going to cost hundreds of thousands of dollars anyway, because that's just how our system works. So there's no good news here, because even if you're rich and you can afford that, the clock is ticking fast within 10 years of diagnosis, motor functions break down and severe instability sets in after that. Anyone with Parkinson's will read about these breakthroughs in China and realize it's not gonna be there for them.
For the stem cell treatments, China's researchers are much farther along. This news is from last week from a hospital at Tongji University in Shanghai. They've developed a stem cell therapy and have completed 12 months of clinical trials on live patients. The name of this company is Shizhe Biopharma. The company's name is misspelled in the article here. They're in Suzhou, which is an hour or so from Shanghai. The doctors report high safety and efficacy in treating the disease with the potential of even reversing onset symptoms. So in Shanghai, they've got stem cell therapies that are ahead of the group that's working with gold nanoparticles. But this is still not very helpful if you're in the U.S. or Europe and waiting for the researchers here to test on large patient populations, then for our regulators to approve it, then for our local docs to train up on it. And it's these realities that are driving China's medical tourism industry and why these market analysts expect medical tourism in China to grow five times in just 12 years. There is no way for patients in Western Europe or North America to avail themselves of the treatments that are still in the experimental phases, even if they wanted to. But medical tourism in Hainan will make a way for patients from all over the world who want to give the most novel therapies and treatments a try. This is something we should have in the United States, but we don't. We should have a place where patients can go and sign a paper that says they understand that everything that's going to happen next is experimental and that the risks are unknown, but to them it's worth a try. Why don't we have that? Why are investors and companies, these are Western companies and Western investors, by the way, why are they so confident that patients from all over the world are going to come to China and get the most modern treatment available? that in the next few years, hundreds of thousands of Americans and Europeans are going to go back from their doctor after they get a diagnosis that turns their life upside down. Then they're going to go to Google and learn that the best chance they've got for a normal life or a longer life is to book a flight to Shanghai or Shenzhen or Sanya. Sanya is in Hainan. Hainan refers to itself as the Hawaii of China. We already have a Hawaii. Why can't we set up a giant medical tourism zone in our own place? This is Sanya, Hainan. Be good. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not in